could flat iron, but the fuel's on very nice at all. Right, these are the brass circles we've just cut out with a plasma, the brass cut quite nicely, uh, apart from horrible fumes of it. I need to soften it, uh, so basically I think it's the same as soft and copper, heat it up dull red, need that quench it, and let it cool. We should be able to get enough heat. Enough heat with this to, uh, to do the job. The reason I want to soft is I want to try and fall into a dome shape where the original caps are like a small, a small curve on them. Definitely going red. And let that cool down now. I'm no tin smith, but I have got a, a panel beating hammer. And so just form a little bit of a, a little bit of a drum, which it is doing, it's doing quite nicely as well. Just to give the, the caps a little bit of shape. Um, when the Victorians made things, they made them look pretty. I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, what's well got a bit of a, a bit of a curve to it now. I'm very pleased with that. Good. And that will be cleaned up, sun it under there, we'll mount it in the mandrel, skim that face and put a, a fancy edge on it. But that's, it certainly looks better than the flat disc. And the flat disc is nothing to look at, but the curved one definitely looks better.
it's all for the end game. You've got to put the foot of the next on. Nosey bastard thing. Bloody freezing in here as well. Hey, you can see the sewer has gone all the way through. Right on the inside. I actually had to break the ice on top of that water bucket there to get that quenched. Well, I'm quite pleased with us. Very pleased. Right, the sewer has very nicely. You can see the sewer has gone all the way through. You've got the fine ringer solar on the inside. 100% penetration. Very pleased indeed. Clean the flux off is probably the, the hardest thing to do. Right, so now you should screw onto there. means I can put that in the lathe, trim it up and basically do whatever I want with it. And the mandrel's running through, it's just where they, I didn't quite have that centered properly. Can't help myself but have a little bit of machine and see what's going to turn out like. Tell you to me what damper I make these, um, how much overhang I have on there, it's just so they so the look right, that's all. This is nice quality brass, you can see the way it's machining, it's not coming off in horrible shards, it's machined more like a bronze. Right, I've had a little bit, polish it a bit, clean up with it. That's the sort of shape that I want. That's some of the shape I've, on the picture that I've got, the little recess in there. And I think little serrations grow around the outside. I have got the empty deal yet. But straight away, I think it looks a lot better than the, the horrible grease cap that was on there. I think once I get the edge scalloped out, scallop's a nice word. Not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I'm sure I'll I'll find a way. I'll get the other one machine clean up the same as that, and then go from there. And I'm really really pleased. I like the the curve on the top's quite nice. The drum shape. On the drone, or at least on the picture of the original cap, there appears to be eight little cutouts or little scallops in there. I've mounted my dividing head in the, on the mill machine. <coughs> the dividing head's geared 40 to 1, which means it's 40 turns of that to 1 turn of that. So if I do 5 turns of that, which is like 5 turns that way, that's going to give us 8 revolutions, which means I can divide that into 8 parts. The idea is to probably use a ball there and mill and cutter and just put the cuts in there. Um, just to just to give it some shape. I mean it looks quite nice the way it is, but I think it'll look a lot better with a little bit of shape about it. We'll get some out in the chuck anyway. I know I need to make a chuck key for it. Bastard. One thing I have to be really sure of, be careful about, the cutter's going to be rotating that way, which is going to have the effect of tightening that on. You don't want it loosening that off and spinning it, so as it cuts, it's going to tighten that on.
you have to take anyway, and I'm only going to take very light cuts. Right, so the first thing I need to do is make sure that that's in the centre of the in the centre of here, in line with that. Right, I've got a nice simple edge finder here. Just a ball race on the end of a piece of bar. You simply bring that in until it touches the the job. It'll stop turning. Nice and gentle with it. Put some paint on the bend so you'll be able to see when it stops turning, which is there. So you have got access to that. Take it around to the other. That side. Do the same thing again. Nice and gently. And it's not the most accurate thing in the world, but it gets you somewhere near. And all we do was half the axis on that. It gives us a reading 42, we'll wind it back to zero. And that would be in the middle, or at least as near in the middle as making no difference for what it is. Right, it certainly looks like it's in the middle. So we'll lock the axis off, find a decent cutter, and then we'll get in the uh put some nice little slots in there. Right, I found a nice sharp cutter. You see, we're actually going to tighten the, have the effect of tightening the, the cap onto the mandrel as it, as it cuts, nice and gently, without hitting the camera like that. And there's no hard and fast rules here, I'm just going to take it until I think it looks right. Which I think's about there. Just looking at the drone, and that's the sort of cut out the drone's got on it. Right, so now it's a case of five turns one, two, three, four, five. There's a little lever on the other that actually locks it off, stop it turning. And then we'll do another, another cut. And the depth of cut's already set now, so I'll have to. Just go nice and gently at it. Right, and another five turns.
last one. Right, and just for a laugh, we'll see if the last one lines up, the first one rather. Which it does. I think we could to be as doing the last the last two shots as the other one. That's the finished article, I'm sure it'll grade's much better than the, the grease gun cap. Which goes on to his and he's all reporting the problem at all. Right, that's it. I really enjoyed making that. Uh, there's a lot of time going into them. But I think it's time well spent. It's something that's gonna that's gonna be here for a long time, unless somebody pinches these ones as well. It was I think I made it in the right way by fabricating silver soldier instead of having to try, trying to bore into a blind hole. A little bit more buff up and there'll be they look the part, they look old, but don't look as if they've just been made. Right, what I will do, I'll get a, during the season I'll get some shots of all these bits and pieces I've made for this particular attraction engine, and show them all fitted to the engine. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in, and don't forget, Description box at the beginning of the video there's a link to the door who shop where you can go and buy a hat, an apron, a jacket, whatever you want. Anyway, thanks for watching.